play to stop the ball going in. And it goes! The call for one nil. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. And welcome to a stadium that used to be known as El Madrigal. These days, the Estadio de la Ceramica, a nod to the ceramics industry locally. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Villarreal facing Alaves. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And now they get the ball rolling. The Villarreal starting 11. A towering presence in goal in the person of Geronimo Rulli. Dani Parejo starts with Francis Coquelin in the centre of midfield. And the striker of choice today is Gerard Moreno. Shaq Moore. Well, for Villarreal, disappointment last time out. They lost in the game against Atletico. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. and he snuffed out the danger well so much to like about Gerard Moreno and his overall game Stuart what should we expect to see from him today well for me Derek his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates particularly in tight areas in and around the box clever little one-twos little passes around the corner he's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence Moreno has a go well, flinging himself up the ball. And over it comes. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Jason Pere Ponce now they keep working away looking for passing lanes over the byline hence a goal kick Parejo. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Tukweze. 
Can he convert? Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Well, something has changed in the game at the Ramon Sanchez beat one. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Barcelona. It's now 1-0. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Well, apologies to Alex. Sometimes when exciting things happen, we have to cut her off. We don't do it too often, of course. Just to confirm, Barcelona did score in that match and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Perepons. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Could take the lead. Just cleared away in the nick of time. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Well, no stopping him. But they dealt with the threat posed. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it fizzled out. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And unable to keep the ball. Parejo. Intense pressure. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yep, yeah, it was a penalty for Sevilla. I don't know what he was thinking with that one. Shot way over the bar. The score remains 1-0 with 27 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. Opportunity. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. And an effective clearance. Now he must get it out of there. Pere Ponce. Can they take advantage? Escalante. Can he do it? Really good diving save. Now sending it in. Still alive. Perepons, Miazga, less than convincing defending, great pressure to win the ball back. Could cross it in here, good visualisation and execution. Might jump in front, it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. But I think the keeper's made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in on that near post. As they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And that's an important intervention. Escalante Moreno and a timely intervention
An unforced error, you've got to say. Deo Lefeu. Lo Celso. Well, sometimes it works out for you, but that was a wretched piece of finishing. That is that for the first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. A very good tackle. Deo Lofeu. Moreno. How can they create something? Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Ball played nicely. And teammates to play it to. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright... Parejo! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Manu Vallejo. Moving it forward. And he takes it away. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Villarreal facing Manchester United. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. And clears the danger. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. And into the last 30 minutes now. Lejeune. Pons. Oh, good use of the ball. Escalante. Chance to play it in. Could be troublesome. Teammate in support. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Who can he pick out? It hasn't come to very much. Excellent defending. Well, as you can see, Villarreal haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Alaves, and they'll be up against Osasuna. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Gabbiatini. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. 
20 minutes remaining. A fine reading of the situation. Manu Garcia. This looks promising. Very quick thinking there. A bit of running room now on the wing. Opportunity, Moreno. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. decided that the time is right to make a triple substitution so the current scoreline 4-2 Manu Garcia beautifully weighted ball not the best clearance threat over for now it seems with a chance Moreno and a goal to put the final stamp on it that will do it well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And possibilities here. The cutback. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Well, they've decided to make a change. Moreno well he certainly caught all of that but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end goal kick it is well the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control Stuart what have you made of this well what an excellent performance this has been they've had complete control for most of the game their movement clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch it's been a really good win for them Corner given. And now the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Corner kick played in. It didn't happen for them. Can he find the net? And no worries for the goalkeeper. Rioja. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Read it superbly to take back possession. Grunefeld. And space for the cross. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome.